everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Julie and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. I have bought new products recently and I have absolutely been loving them and I created this glowy, stunning, beautiful routine and I just needed to share it with you guys. So make sure to subscribe and let's just get on into the video. I primed my skin with the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Oil Face Primer. And then I went into the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This stuff is so amazing, so glowy, and it gives you such a beautiful coverage and blends out like skin. To spot conceal, I'm just going to go into the NARS Pot Concealer. This stuff is amazing and super natural looking on the skin, but covers everything that you need to cover. It is literally magic in a pot. While that NARS concealer is sitting on the skin, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Concealer. This stuff is super creamy, super blendable, and super high coverage. A little bit goes a long way. And now I'm just blending out the NARS concealer. And now going back and blending out that Anastasia concealer. If you love a bright under eye, this stuff is literally magic. So this is the Ilia powder in Magic Sands. It brightens so beautifully underneath the eyes. It is insane. And then to set the face, I'm using this Glowish Powder by Huda Beauty. This sets your face while keeping the luminosity in your skin, but also adding a tiny bit of coverage. It is so, so gorgeous. I can't even explain it. And then I'm going in with this Kiko bronzer. Unfortunately, this one is not in anymore, but they do have a bunch of different bronzers and their products are so amazing. So go check out their website, but this one is sadly discontinued. And then I just put it in my crease. Now I'm going in with this Burt's Bees blush. It is so gorgeous. It is the most perfect natural blush for everyday use. I can't get enough of it. It just adds so much but so little at the same time and then i'm going in with this wet n wild highlighter it is gorgeous super duper inexpensive it is just a gorgeous golden highlighter from the drugstore and then i'm just going in with some sephora makeup setting spray to set the face this is a super long wearing setting spray now this is what i call my magic powder if you have pores around your nose and if you get oily in your t-zone this is the most perfect touch-up powder as you can see it's literally blurring everything i can't get enough of this stuff and then i'm just going to brush out my brows to get any excess product out now i'm going in with the elf brow powders i only use the powders, not the waxes. And then I just go in with the darker shade on the outer part of my eyebrows and just shape them. And then in the beginning of the brow, I'll flick it with the lighter shade and then just brush them out. To conceal underneath the brows, I just use this Too Faced Peach Concealer. You can use any concealer, I just have this one. I go underneath the brows and then just blend it out with this brush. And then I'm taking this Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel. This stuff is great. It keeps your brows in place all day long and makes them look so feathery and full. Essence has been killing the game with mascara. This is the Volume Stylist. So if you want to add volume to your lashes, this is amazing and super affordable. So I'm just curling my lashes with this Tarte Eyelash Curler that I got many holidays ago. But this mascara is so stunning. If you need length, I wouldn't say that this one is for you. For lip liner, this is a super creamy formula from LA Girl. It is the ultimate lip liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. This is a perfect nude shade. I love this and this formula is top notch. And then I'm going in with this lipstick from Undone Beauty. It's in the shade Baby Beige. And this lip combo is so perfect together as you can see just stunning 
Alrighty guys, and this is the completed look. This is like my perfect base routine that I have absolutely been loving since I shopped at the Sephora sale. Let me know what you guys think and make sure to subscribe for future content and I'll see you guys in the next one.